Hey friends, it's Brother Paul with another Children's Time from the Shelbyville First United Methodist Church. Of course, you can see I'm not in the church building today. Instead, I'm out on the road for this assignment. In fact, I brought with me a little buddy here called uh, Builder Bob, and he is going to be helping me as I share with you something that will help us understand one of the messages God has for us. Now, I'm wearing a special kind of hat and reflective vest, as Builder Bob is as well. These are the kind of hats and vests that a road worker would wear. Now, can you see this uh, sign back behind me? Can you read that sign? It says, Road Work Ahead. And if you look way back behind me, you just might be able to see one of the big machines that road workers use. They look something like this, but they're different kind of shapes and different kind of machines used to do word work. And there's a, a and not just anybody can use these machines. If, if we wanted to drive one of these big machines, we'd have to learn how to work it and how, to, how we can be able to move earth, the earth around and the dirt around and rocks around to be in the places we need them to be. We would have to uh, do a lot of hard work because making roads is hard work. To make a road level, the workers have to fill in all the valleys with dirt and they have to move all the dirt from the top of the hills. And these folks behind us have been working hard for over a year now on this road between Shelbyville and Tullahoma. And there's lots of hills and lots of valleys. And they're trying to make it where the road, when we drive down it, is kind of smooth and easy. And we don't have to go bouncing up and down all the time. Now, all this talk about building roads reminds me of a story found in Mark's Gospel about the cousin of Jesus, John the Baptist. You might remember that John the Baptist was the fellow who baptized Jesus. But a long, long time before John the Baptist and Jesus were born, there was another man named Isaiah. And Isaiah was a prophet. And a prophet is someone who's just simply uh, God uses to give a special message to, to share with all of us. Now, the prophet would tell God's people about the message that God wanted to share with them. And one time, Isaiah's message was this verse, get the Lord's road ready for him and make a straight path for him to travel. And John the Baptist in the New Testament is saying the very same message, get the Lord's road ready and make a straight path. Now, you, now do you see why I'm out here with this road worker hat and vest standing in front of a work ahead sign, road work ahead sign? I'm getting God's road ready. Now, do you think this verse means that we should all go out and get our hard hats and vest and, and build roads? <laughs> no, of course not. Do you remember how I told you how not just anyone could run those big machines? All the road workers have to go to school to learn how to run them? Well, we now have to learn how to get the road ready for the coming of Jesus at Christmas time. And that's what John the Baptist is doing. He was getting the road ready by telling people that Jesus was coming. Now, how do we know what we need to do? Well, when we listen to the children's time each week or when your mom or dad read the Bible with you, you can listen for some messages of truth and love from God. And then you can share that message of love to others. Now here's the message John has for us today. Get the Lord's road ready for him. Make a straight path for him to travel. And here's how we make a straight path for Jesus to travel. We gotta clear out everything and anything in our lives that makes it hard for others to hear and see God's love. Have you ever had your room so messy with toys and clothes and scattered about on the floor that it was hard to walk from one side of the room to the other without tripping? Well, that's what we're talking about. What do we do and what do we say that might trip others up? What can we do to clear the way and make it easy for folks to see God's love in and through us? This verse tells us that Christmas is coming. 
So put on your hard hat and let's get to work. What? <laughs> you don't have a hard hat? That's okay. You don't really need one. What we need to do now is just bow our heads and pray. Thank you, God, for sending us people like John the Baptist and others who come to remind us to get ready for the coming of Jesus. Help us to find some way this week to share about the love of Jesus to someone who needs some good news. We love you, God. Amen. Well, it's been great visiting with you in the great outdoors, and I hope you have a wonderful week, and I hope you never forget, God loves you, and so does Brother Paul. Goodbye.